Hi, welcome to Alda. Today we're going to be fitting the Alda AquaClear. The AquaClear UVC is a water disinfection system that helps to remove harmful viruses and bacteria. Fitting the AquaClear just after the fresh water pump will give filtered water to both the hot and cold systems. This means that even out of the shower, you'll have clean, odourless water. You can even fit it to the cold feed of the kitchen sink. That way it would increase the lifespan of the AquaClear. So the lifespan of the AquaClear is 70 cubic metres of water. So with using your water system for 10 minutes a day it equals to approximately 1800 days. So the carbon filter will need to be changed once a year or before each season. The AquaClear can even be fitted to any vehicle regardless of the make of the heating or water system. Before fitting decide whether you will fit it to both the hot and cold system or just the kitchen sink. Remember, you'll also need to make sure it is accessible and removable. Today we are fitting the AquaClear just after the pump. This way we will have filtered water from the hot and cold side. OK, now we've got the plumbing sorted, let's look at the wiring. Let's start with the white two-pin plug. With the white two-pin plug, if you have an Alda 3030 heating system, then using the extension cable, connect the AquaClear to the external start of the boiler. If you're fitting to any other heating and water system, you'll need to fit the AquaClear LED indicator panel. Again, using the extension cable provided, connect the AquaClear to the indicator panel. As you can see, the panel is the same size as the sockets. This helps with locating a place to fit. You will see the indicator panel light up when the pump comes on, showing that the UV filter is activated. Let's move on to the 12 volt supply to the UV filter. The white wire is the positive supply and the brown is the negative. To reduce any unnecessary activation of the UV filter, the supply must only come on when there is water flow. There are different types of pumps fitted to leisure vehicles. If you have an in-tank pump or micro switch system, then take the 12 volt directly from the pump. If you have the inboard pump with internal pressure switch like ours, take the 12 volt supply after the pressure switch on the pump. Okay. Take the top of the pressure switch. Here we have two wires. One's 12 volt supply, and one's 12 volt to the pump itself after the pressure switch. We need to decide which one's which. That one's got 12 volt and the pump is up to pressure at the moment. So if we test the other wire, there's nothing. But if we put the tap on, pump comes on, that gives us 12 volts. So we now know to this wire we need to connect to. So now we've worked out that it's this wire we're going to connect to and the black, so the white will go into positive and the brown will go into negative. Okay, now we've got the wiring done. I've tucked it all up out of the way, nice and neatly. Let's plug the, uh, the pump back in and we'll tidy up. Once you're all set with the plumbing and the wiring, and you've got a 3030 system, you'll need to go into the control panel and activate the system. So, press menu, press one, two, system configuration, you're looking for AquaClear, and install the AquaClear. You can check what the status is. Here, as you can see, AquaClear, we've just installed it. It shows 300 hours. Okay, when you have the pump running and the UV starts to filter, you will see a drip symbol coming up on here. As soon as the pump goes off, the symbol goes off. And that shows that it's only filtering when the pump is coming on and off. So that's it. That's one AquaClear finished and ready to use. So if you're not happy with anything we've done today, 
and you don't feel confident doing it, then please don't hesitate to contact Alder Service in either UK, Germany or Sweden. But that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching.